Hi, in this session, I will explain about user defined functions. In short form, we call as UDFs. Okay, as you know, Snowflake provides so many built in functions like numeric functions, string functions, date functions, aggregate functions, window functions. Okay, but if certain functionality is not available or not achievable through these system defined or predefined functions, then we can write our own functions okay in snowflake those are called user defined functions that means the the system is not providing those functions but uh, based on our requirement we are writing the functions those functions are called user defined functions we can write udfs in snowflake using so many languages like javascript scala java python along with the sql but in this session, I will explain about SQL as I am explaining about Snowflake scripting. That means writing procedures and functions in SQL language. Okay. SK, there are two types of UDFs, Scalar UDF and Tabular UDF. A Scalar UDF returns single value for single input value. Okay. That means uh, we execute the functions, right? At the time of execution, if we run the function for one input value, so we'll get only one output value for that input. Okay, so those are called scalar UDFs. But tabular UDF returns data in form of rows and columns that is in the table format. So we have a flexibility in Snowflake that it can return a tabular result as well, which is in the form of rows and columns. Okay, I will explain examples for both scalar and tabular UDFs. Okay, limitation with SQL UDF UDFs is we can write single value or single expression or single SQL statement in the function definition. So in the function definition, uh, we can uh, we can code single expression or single SQL statement or single value only it can return. So that is the limitation of uh, SQL UDFs. But, but while writing functions using JavaScript or Python, so you can uh, mention any number of statements that will write, return a value finally that can be a scalar or tabular okay we can create functions using create function statement so how to create a function so by using create or replace function you can create user defined functions we'll see this in practical and we can call function in the select statements with the parameters so uh, unlike uh, stored procedure so stored procedures we call like call by using a statement called call call stored procedure name but here functions we can use them directly in the sql statements we'll show you how to do that okay and this is a warning okay never use okay semicolon at the end of expression or the sql statement in the function definition if you if you notice in stored procedures we end every statement it can be sql statement or expression evaluation or whatever it is so we end by using this one right but in, in the function definition, you should not end any SQL statement or expression by using this. So if you mention, if you give semicolon at the end, it will throw one error. Okay. So this is very important and you cannot identify where is the error. Okay. Okay. So this is how scalar UDF looks like. Okay. So here I am creating a function to calculate the area of circle. So what is the area of circle? Phi r square. Okay, so phi is nothing but uh, phi r square, right? Pi is nothing but 3.14. But we have a function in Snowflake pi. Okay, so this will hold the value 3.14. And what is the input required for this? The radius of the circle. So radius is the argument for this function. And what is my return value? It's a float because we are multiplying it by 3.14, 3.14, which is a float or decimal type. Okay. Pi, pi r square right pi into r into r that means radius into radius so this is my return value so whenever i execute a function anywhere in my sql statements or anywhere uh, select area of circle of 2.5 okay so it will execute this function and it will return this value so this is very basic function but for your understanding easy understanding i am explaining very small but while uh, explaining actual functions I'll explain some difficult uh, functions as well okay 
so this is one more example so here i am just returning one expression i am not using any sql statement but uh, you can use sql statements as well okay so this is a function to calculate the profit okay so how we calculate the profit so selling price minus buying price right so retail price minus wholesale price suppose if i am selling multiple products then i have to multiply this result with the number of products sold okay so i am creating a function like uh, a function with the name profit and my return value is numeric type of 11 to that means it's a decimal number okay and i am calculating my profit by using uh, the select statement suppose i have all the product details and sales details in the in the table purchases okay so i am i am saying select sum of this uh, retail price minus wholesale price into number of sold number of products sold as the profit from purchases table okay so this value will be returned whenever you execute select to profit okay okay now let's see how the tabular udfs look like okay so here if you see i am creating a function okay order uh, orders for product okay uh, and my argument is product id is of fair care type oh, that means whenever i supply product id so i want to um, get the list of orders for that product id okay so if you say what is our requirement i have I, i need to get quantity of sold of this products so that means i need to fetch two columns one is product id and the number of products sold for that product of that product id okay so i want to get these two columns so my my return value will be of a tabular type not a single value so it should contain two columns with these values right okay so my function definition is select product id quantity sold from the orders table where product id equals to the given product id so whatever the pro product id we are um, uh, passing as argument for that product id it will fetch the number of products sold okay so this is a tabular function so if you see what we are returning product id and quantity sold this is two columns that means we are returning the data in the form of columns and rows that is why we are saying return type is table these functions are called tabular udfs okay so how can i execute this now okay select product id quantity id sold from table so we are returning a table right so that's why i'm using a table literal to get this okay table of orders for product and so my product name is product bags okay product id so i want to know the number of compostable bags sold okay so the number of quantity uh, quantity sold means the number of bags sold that's why i am calling this function okay order of orders for product of type composable bags okay so i am converting this as table type and selecting these two fields these two fields i have here if you see in my function definition okay so this is how tabular udfs works okay now let's see with the examples